The real painful choice is whether I just concede now or later. Like, that's the real painful choice. Well, you asked for it, you decided, you said that you wanted to see this and you're gonna get it. <laughs> We've brought Joshua Schmidt on and we are doing a no ban list gameplay where there is just no ban cards at all. We've both come up with our own deck lists. I wonder what we're playing. <laughs> I wonder why I chose to wear this hat. Chose. <laughs> chose to wear is a very yeah. uh, strong word. We both <laughs> built our own decks. I built my deck with my friends on the Discord, and you built your deck actually on live on Twitch. Right? Yes, I did. I did. I did ask my Twitch chat on what. I don't know if that was the best idea. Ah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> it turned out quite cool, I think. Shout, shout outs to shout outs to <laughs> shout my out Twitch, to Twitch chat. Am I right? Yes. Uh, if you guys want to watch more of Joshua Schmidt coming up with and deck testing and just putting stuff yeah. together in general, have a good time. Go check out his Twitch. It's really interesting, really fun. And if you also like this kind of stuff and want to see us do more of it, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell and tell us what deck you would have built. Apart from that, I think we should just get straight into it and play because I think that's what everybody's waiting yeah. for. Yeah, okay. and I'm not so going to wear this for the entire thing. Now, I thought really long and hard about what to bring to this because I knew about this a couple days in advance and I was able to prepare my own deck for this. And I got myself a little bit of help from my Twitch chat. Shout outs to everyone who was watching on that day. We thought it wouldn't be fun if I just brought something completely broken, way too strong. So we decided I was just gonna play frogs. It's just gonna be frogs and trying to summon three totally awesomes. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the whole point. I just put in a couple of the best frogs, you know, Substitute, Swamp Frog, Ronin Toad, and a couple of friends, lots of broken spells, Pot of Greed, Your Graceful Charity, Painful Choice, Soul Charge, uh, three instant fusions for Norden. If I go second, open a couple hand traps. If I go first, just open like a couple of like two card combos that can make a couple of totally awesomes, hopefully three. Uh, and uh, and that should be good to go. So in case you aren't able to tell by my pretty little horns, I am going to be playing a dragon deck, but not just any dragon deck, one of the most oppressive dragon decks of all time, Dragon Rulers. The Dragon Rulers themselves are not exactly what I would call meta warping or game breaking. The best of the Dragon Rulers being either Redox or Tidal, where if you send them to the graveyard with their specific discard requirements, if it's Redox, you get to reborn a monster from the graveyard, and if it's Tidal, you get to send a monster from your deck to the graveyard. On top of this, we're also playing a lot of the amazing draw card stuff like Graceful Charity, Pod of Greed, as well as Painful Choice, allowing us to set up our graveyard with Dragon Rulers to keep extending. We're also going to be playing Soul Charge, an amazing card for reborning a bunch of monsters from the graveyard. Once again, I do not think that this deck is the best deck in the entire world simply because it is running banned cards. I would just want to prove a point that the Dragon Rulers can absolutely come back because they're probably not going to be doing anything too soon. All in all, I'm looking forward to playing today and seeing just what these Dragon Rulers can do. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what Josh and the rest of his viewer base has put together for me. Is this your first time playing No Ban List? It is my first time playing No Ban List. This is my first time ever even contemplating a No Ban yeah. List. I will preface that this is not <laughs> only my work. I've done this oh. together with Twitch chat. I do not think this is the best deck oh, possible. He's given me. himself an out. Brilliant. Yeah. Just see how this goes. We're going to high roll to see who goes first. That is not very high. No. That is much higher than five. It is your choice. I would like to go first. Shocker! <laughs> Best of luck. Let's go and let's start. So my opening hand is really, really good if I'm going first. I'm not going first, however. I am going second. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to hope that Josh has bricked entirely. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, though. All right. I will kick things off with a very fair card, which I wonder why it's not allowed anymore, but I'm going to start with a painful choice. Oh, bro, come on. The first <laughs> card you play is painful choice. All right, fine. Hit me with your five. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Who knew the painful decision it was is... for the person picking which five cards they were supposed to send? <laughs> you wouldn't think this be hard. But reveal your five to me, sir. Show me what you have chosen. All right, I have chosen painfully three pods of greed. Oh my, come on. <laughs> and what? two soul charges. So here I have substitute in my hand. I still have no way to put up a second monster onto the field. So I would really like soul charge. So how do I get Adam to give me the soul charge? I can't just present him with three soul charges and two of any other card, because then he's gonna know I want the soul charge. So I'm gonna show him two soul charges and three pod of greeds and hope 
that he thinks I want that pot of greed really badly and gives me the soul charge. Oh yeah, okay, so this is frustrating because now I don't even know what you're on. It's just pick the best cards for me to pick. So his choices here are kind of interesting. I'm almost feeling like I should give him the soul charge, right? Because I kind of want to make sure that he doesn't have extra resources in hand. Either way, it's not really good because of a given pot of greed. You could draw into a soul charge and something else. You could draw into more draw cards. You could draw into a combo starter. Whereas with soul charge, if he doesn't have anything, which he mightn't, uh, it's kind of a dead card. I think giving him the soul charge is the correct option. I'm gonna regret saying that. Soul charge is pretty good, but pot of greed could be a soul charge. I'm gonna give you the soul charge. Put the rest of them in the grave. <sighs> All right, we got the soul charge, and now with soul charge and substitute paired together, we can put up a very, very strong field. I will then proceed to normal summon substitute. Of course this is frogs and I just gave you a painful choice. That is, okay, yeah, that's fine. Substitute lets me tribute any monster to summon a frog from the deck, so I would like to do that. You can do that all you want. All I want. All right, then I will summon a swap frog and use its effect on summon to send another substitute. Why not? But Josh, they say, how are you gonna get that substitute back out of the graveyard? Uh, what could you possibly bring? <laughs> Back with, oh no. I can't think of any card that you may have just given me into my hand that would allow me to do such a thing. So I'm just gonna continue by using Swap Frog's effect to return it to my hand. And then I'm gonna pitch a flip flop frog, which I just put this into the deck because it doesn't matter which frog this is. It so has I, to be a frog. It has to be a frog. So I decided to give a flip flop frog some love and I will send another substitute. That is so not fine, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll use that soul charge you just gave me. Uh, how many are you summoning back? All of them. All Every of them. single one of them. All of the frogs. All right, so you're taking 4K. Hell yeah. Gonna... I will take 4K. The crackback is going to be great. Please don't play burn. And then we're going to make the first iteration. Uh -oh. Oh, of the totally awesome. All this right, is the that's, first one. That's right. okay. The Those first of fun. many to come. I'm going to use a substitute to tribute itself and summon out another Swap oh, Frog. Use that effect to finally send Ronin Totem. Oh, God. The only purpose of this deck is to summon three totally awesome, so I'm going to make sure that we can actually do that. I'm going to make a Sprite Elf. Best frog support since Paleos, yep. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use that Sprite Elf to target a Swap Frog in the graveyard. That is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to use that Swap Frog to send another Swap Frog. And I'm going to banish that to use Ronin Toten for the first time. That is cool. And then I'll tribute that Ronin Toten off for the substitute again. I'll summon Poison Draw Frog. <laughs> Let's go! This is going to tribute itself. I actually messed this up. I'm not getting three Toads. You could do it. I believe in you. It is just going to be two toads now. Haha, <laughs> that was your downfall, was the two toads. Well, two toads is fine. I could have included more frogs into the deck, and then I just could have gone like way crazier with the Ronin Totens, but uh, I figured I was just gonna sit here and draw a bunch of frogs and not be very happy. Yeah. This is my end board now. Oh, my and lord. And you are lucky that I didn't make the third toad. I feel rather lucky. Uh, I will draw for turn then, sir. I'm gonna try to go to the main phase. Anything you wanna do in standby? I have no further frogs. Special Fenrir. Oh god. Oh dear lord, it's the enemy of the frogs. <laughs> we're gonna go to the battle phase, uh, and we're gonna use Fenrir to get over the uh, froggy, the toad fellow himself. May I remind you of the effect of God Doop damn Doop Frog! <laughs> oh, we're gonna get over Doop Frog anyway, that's fun. Uh, okay, we'll crash over the Doop Frog anyway, let's get rid of that. No effect on Fenrir, would you believe it? Really? No effect on Fenrir this time. Okay, no effect on Doop Frog either. Oh. We're gonna go to the main phase too? Yes. I don't need a painful choice for this, I will just straight up go ahead and activate Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed. You know what, I want that. You want that? You I want, want that, I will I will take it. Oh, yeah, okay. I will make it mine. All right, All right. I, you will destroy and set. And then I will use the Totally Awesome to add back. I will add back my Swap Frog. I'll try to use Elf to bring back Toad once again. That is going to be an effect that's going to resolve, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those effects. One of the resolving kind. Uh, <laughs> the effects, they do resolve. Guess we'll go ahead and normal summon our first banned monster, Eclipse Wyvern. I can't believe you chose a dragon deck for this. Ah, shush you, be quiet. We're going <laughs> to then get rid of the Eclipse Wyvern for a copy of Striker Dragon in this instance. Mandatory effect of Eclipse Wyvern in the graveyard. No effect of Striker Dragon? Or no effect of Striker you Dragon. You did not include Boot Sector launch I don't in need your... Boot Sector launch okay. in this deck. <laughs> we'll banish the Chaos Dragon Levianir from our deck. That's not a banned card. It's not, but it is a card. That is most certainly correct. Uh, we'll banish the Striker Dragon. Ooh. To Red bring eyes? out Red Eyes, oh. the boy himself. 
Okay. Can you kill me? You can definitely kill me. That's I, would, the, I would never. That's the scariest part. I'm gonna attempt to use the effect of Redos. Aria. Yeah. To special from my hand or graveyard, I believe. It's gonna be my red eyes. Okay. Can't take it. <laughs> take a set. All right. And then I'll also use Toad. Or are you trying to take your Fenrir? Do I want to give you my Fenrir <laughs> as I well? Want, I'm gonna take all of your cards. Actually, you know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'll trigger my Toad. <laughs> Reborn a thing. Oh, to add back swap frog once again. I will just pass, sir. <laughs> that is, uh, turns out 60 car pile is not a super effective against consistent frog. I, I'd argue it's much more about who goes first. Or I not. would also argue that that might be the case. I will draw for turn. If you hit me with a pot of greed or a graceful charity or another painful choice, I will just, I will leave. Well, I mean, you know about this pot of greed, uh, which I'm going to use. It's my pot of greed. So I'm just gonna see how many of the fun banned cards in my deck I can find. All right, let's go for it. All right, so it allows me to draw two cards off my deck and none of them are banned. All right, I'm going to flip summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. <laughs> Would you like to use its effect? In my dragon. frog deck. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use Sprite Elf to target my totally awesome again. Uh, sure, that's okay. All right. Normal summon a frog. Here. <laughs> he is here. <laughs> and I'm gonna banish a Poison draw frog to use Ronin Toad. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, you're gonna make the third toad. That's fine. You you go that's for it, all buddy. Of, that's all that I want. You to do. go for it, but you make the third toad. There's not much I can actually really do here without giving you a Fenrir, which uh, I don't want to do that. You don't need to tell me twice to yeah. make a third toad. So this is already enough damage, but because I can, I'm gonna use Instant Fusion oh. to summon a Elder Entity Norden. I'm gonna not use its effect. Ooh, okay. Cheeky. I'm just gonna go to the battle phase. Mm, that's gonna, yeah. And I'm gonna attack with the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I should not have given you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 400 damage. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's 400 and then... And that uh, is 1800, 4000, 6200 and 8000. Oh lord, he coming! All right, that's enough <laughs> to kill me. Uh, <laughs> that is bonkers. Now I get to go first, meaning I'm packing my deck full of hand disruption, stuff like Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, The Forceful Sentry, anything I can use to just rip Josh's hand apart and tear it asunder. It's really the simplest siding option because hopefully I'll be able to draw into them, hopefully I'll be able to get at least something to my hand that can just rip his hand apart and stop him from doing anything, because he is going to be siding in disruption. So I'm kind of hoping I see some of those lovely green cards. So going second against a combo deck like this, the most important thing is hand traps. So I'm gonna add even more hand traps to my deck. I'm already maining quite a few because I was scared of the no balance shenanigans, but I'm also gonna bring, in addition, I'm gonna bring Nibiru and I'm gonna bring Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, really good against cards like the Guard Dragons, maybe a Summon Sorceress here and there. It's definitely something I can see happening. Just overall, I mean, Nibiru can just completely wipe the game. So really all it's about here is I need to see some of these hand traps to make sure Adam can't go crazy with his 60 card dragon combo pile. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right, well, that last game was not uh, what I would call fun. I have fun. Uh, I mean, I was happy to see the frogs, but uh, I was not happy see? that they were on your side of the board. I'm going to elect to go first, and hopefully I'll be able to do something this time. I swear I'm gonna cry if I can't. But uh, best of luck. Best of luck. I have possibly got the best hand when it comes to milling things. I have that grass is greener. I'm playing a 60 card deck. Josh is playing a 40 card deck. I'm gonna mill 20. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm guaranteed to at least hit something. And I'm hoping that I can at least, you know, be able to keep extending to the point that I'll be able to set up somewhat of an unbreakable board. I'm drawing my starting hand for game two, right? And it's looking really grim, right? I'm drawing three frogs and an instant fusion. And I'm like, oh my God, this can't be real. I put so many hand traps into this deck. And then I flip over the fifth card and it's a maxi. And I'm like, oh my God, that could, I could not have asked for a better fifth card. So unless Adam has some outs to maxi in his 60 card deck, I don't feel like this is gonna be very pleasant for him. Okay, are you ready for things to get mildly wacky? <laughs> Hit me with it. How many cards in your deck, Josh? 40, why do you ask? Well, oh, 35 now. 35 now? Oh, that's, that's very now. interesting. I'm running a 60 card deck, personally, myself. Wow, oh, so, uh, ooh, whatever. 50, 55 minus mm. uh, 35 is 20 cards, right? That is, that sounds about right, yeah. Why, why are you asking? I'm gonna drop uh, that grass is greener. Mm, I've seen that card before. So I get a mill cards from the top of my deck equal to the amount of cards between the difference of our decks. So uh, that's 20 cards. You guys all good? You got anything in hand? That's gonna be wrong. 20 cards from the top of the deck. And let's have a quick look and see mm. uh, 
Wow, that's a lot of cards. Okay, well, the important cards here are... No, that's going, a lot of dragon rulers. All the dragon rulers. Uh, you mill each of them once. <laughs> this is great. That, that was, was like nice. a plus three situation. Oh, yeah, it's about a, yeah, but you know what? I, I think I'd also <laughs> rather just have more cards in the graveyard and in my hand as well. So oh, I'm going to God. give you a painful choice to... Uh, to do. So let me just pick my five cards. All right, seeing as this is very, very painful for me, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a couple of different options here, uh, but you'll find that there's one card I would really, really like to add to my hand. So we're going to start off with a, a Graceful Charity, a what you call Soul Charge of my own, mm -hmm. uh, a Delinquent Duo, a Delinquent Duo, and a Delinquent Duo. Which card would you <laughs> like to give me, please? You're going to have to Soul Charge. I can have the Soul Charge. All right, I'll put everything else in the grave and I'll take the Soul Charge. Yeah. We're not going to uh, soul charge just immediately yet. We will normal summon out an Eclipse Wyvern. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder what you want to do with that. So that was a lot of banned cards. That was a lot of banned cards. I feel like it's about my turn to play at least one banned card as well. I'm going to drop a Max C right here. Yeah? <laughs> you going to do that? Yeah. You want me to explain to you what it does? Or? No, no, I, okay. I, got, I, got, I got what Maxi does. Okay, okay. All right, all right, the Maxi has resolved. Even if I don't draw any cards, even if, they, even if he passes right away, my hand is already good enough. As long as I skip the turn, that's fine. Maxi, my rival, has come back to uh, thwart me again. If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down in style. I'm gonna try to deck Josh out. Let's see whether we can do it. I'm going for it. You're gonna accept the challenge? I'm going for it. Go for it. I'm going for it. Go Definitely for it. nothing he will draw into. He will <laughs> simply not draw in to Nibiru. I'm not gonna draw and lock with my own Maxi. I will get rid of the Eclipse Wyvern for a copy of Striker Dragon. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, mandatory effect of Eclipse Wyvern. Yes. All right. Off of Eclipse Wyvern's effect, we're going to banish the Red Eyes Metal Dragon. Okay. I'm gonna pitch Redox. Redox. To reborn a monster in my grave. I will target the effect veiler in my graveyard. That is fine. All right, effect veiler is going to come back. We will draw, right, draw a card. We're going to get rid of the striker dragon and the effect veiler for mm -hmm. a Christron Halka Fibrex. Oh, I remember and that. A card. lovely, beautiful band card. Effect of Christron Halka Fibrex. Sure, he will special summon out a tuner. I will special summon out a copy of the Galaxy Dragon itself. We we'll use the effect of Blaster in Graveyard to banish a Redox mm -hmm. and the Eclipse Wyvern mm -hmm. to special summon back out the Blaster. Yep. Blaster is going to come back out. I feel like you're trying to counter my substitute by taking all the frogs out of my deck. Uh, the effect of Lindworm or Trigger thing, which will add back the yep. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon to yep. my hand. But we still have Tempest and Tidal mm -hmm. left. I think I'll use Tidal. We'll mm -hmm. banish a Redox. And we'll also banish the baby wind to bring back out the title ruler itself. We will then overlay oh. into a copy of Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. I would like to use the effect of Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, detaching a blaster as material to the grave. Mm -hmm. This will now give me two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Place them here. That's quite a lot of cards in hand. It's getting hard to hold. <laughs> At point. some point, you are going to need to put them down. So, just you could also just stop now. I'm gonna get rid of Christian Halka Fibrex and Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, which both happen to be machines. Oh, you're playing Aurodon as well? No, I'm playing Summon Sword. Oh, well, that might be better. I think I will use the effect here. You will use the effect. Let me think about that. Well, what are you trying to give me? <laughs> You check what kind of hand traps I have available at this point in time. Are you actually trying to deck me out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use a ghost ogre on that. Ooh, okay. Which destroys that, and since it no, no longer, longer has a points target, to a zone. Yeah. I'm gonna perform a synchro summon. All the summons. I will use my level three token and my level three token, which now disappear into the ether, and my level two tuner to make myself a Borrow Load Savage. Uh, I'll use the effect of Borrow Load here. Okay, so I've set up a Borrow Load Savage Dragon, meaning that I should be able to kind of circumvent Nibiru. I kind of just hope that he hasn't drawn anything else that can stop the Savage. Uh, I will attach the Summon Sork to it. Yep. And I will gain a lovely three countered Borrow Load Savage Dragon. Yep. I am now safe from Nibiru, and we use the effect of Tempest by banishing from my graveyard. It's gonna have to be 
Kashtiri Unicorn because it is a win. <laughs> You're just doing that just to show it off. <laughs> just to show it off. Look, I am playing Kashtiri, I swear. <laughs> and I will get rid of a Lightning Draft as yeah. well to bring back the Tempest. So you're going to draw another card. Right, so I'm drawing a lot of cards here, but I haven't found many hand traps yet. Specifically, this Nibiru, I just picked it up. I just picked it up right after Adam has made the Borolode Savage Dragon, so I can't use it just yet. But I have a couple more in the deck that I might be able to pick up later to pair with the Nibiru. They are banish the Tempest oh God, for, we're not done. for the Red Eyes uh, Metal Black Dragon. Yeah, so I'll use the effect of Red Eyes Metal Black Dragon to special summon from my graveyard a Dragon type monster. We're gonna have to think a little bit on this one. I'm gonna bring back a dragon ruler. This doesn't really matter at this point. I'm gonna get rid of these two dragons for Hieratic Seal. What card? This is a seal pass yeah. situation. <laughs> what card did you give me earlier? I gave you a soul charge, I believe. Activate the soul charge. Go ahead. I will grab back a galaxy dragon. Drake on that dragon. Striker dragon. Mm -hmm. Blaster, why not? So I'll draw one card since these all, all happen at just the same, at same time. time summon. So I'm also gonna lose 4,000 life points. I'm gonna try to hit you with a Nibiru the Brown. Oh, you're gonna try to hit me with Nibiru. See, that's the that's the funny thing here is uh, I will reduce the counter down to. I will use an effect veiler. Uh, Who could have seen that coming? More than one hand trap in 20 cards. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cry and send everything to the graveyard. But you're gonna get a big token. Fat stack of a token. So let's see, what is this token currently sitting on? So a 9,200 token and a 6,700 defense. What way would you like to place that, sir? Right in the middle. In defense. In defense, all right. Great. Well, your seal can trigger. Because it was, was tributed, so I do get the special summon if a you dragon to. from my deck. This is why Maxi is banned, by the way. In case anyone ever wondered. My turn might not be over. It might not be. <laughs> it might not be over. It we might, might actually still get to play. Use its effect on field. Yep. Sending it to Yep. Add a dragon monster from my deck to my hand. Level four now, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a copy of Black Dragon Flap Serpent. Mm -hmm. At this point, now that you've added a card to your hand, <laughs> don't and do I this already thing. have like twenty of them. I'm gonna free you from the curse of the Maxi. Oh, I'm just brilliant. gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna be nice here. I'm gonna drop a Droll and Lock Bird to prevent both of us from adding cards from the deck to the hand. Oh, okay. Droll and Lock Bird. Uh, this challenge is now slightly over. There's not much I can do. I can only kind of hope that he doesn't kill me next turn. Yes. All right, so you won't draw anymore, yes. and I will not be able to do much. So I'm going to banish the Star Leech separate from yep. my graveyard, mm -hmm. and that will allow me to add one level eight or higher Dragon Monster from my graveyard to my hand. Mm, I think I've only got the one target, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the Red Eyes Metal Black Dragon. Who wins <laughs> an army of banned cards or one little insect? I'm simply going to cope that you cannot beat over this token. <laughs> okay. um, I will I will promise you one thing, I will not beat over the token. If you remove the token by some I will also mean, not remove the token. If you take the token... I will not take the token. <laughs> if you tribute the token... I will not tribute the token. The token will be here until the very end, I promise. All right, as promised, I'm not going to get rid of that token. I'm going to leave that token right there, and maybe you can predict what type of card I'm going to use to win the game while the token is still on the field. Because I am a man of my word, that token is going to stay there until the very end. I'm still going to special summon that Black Dragon Clap Circuit by... Oh, the Banishing a now. card uh, in my graveyard. So you, I'm gonna pray that like there's nothing you can do. No, I bricked. I bricked. Guys, I think we're safe. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna activate a pot of greed to draw right, two uh, cards off the top of my deck. Oh uh, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> And I'm gonna follow this up. Pot of Greed to draw two cards from the top of my deck. Are you gonna deck yourself out? Go for it. I might just go. I would try. Should I try to go down to zero cards? If you can go deck? down to zero cards, then kill me. I'll be very impressed. Oh, okay. I'll try to impress you. Then. Graceful I'm gonna charity. continue with mm. the graceful charity. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna draw three. What would you like to discard, sir? It's half your deck in your hand. I'm just gonna discard two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbits. We'll try again with the next one. It's, it's, next it's one. fine. Yeah, okay, it's alright. It's okay. So we're gonna. I'm kind of half hoping that you genuinely do not have a way to out the goddamn token. <laughs> I'm going to discard two Nibirus, the Primal Beaks. I'm going to use a, <laughs> a copy of Graceful Charity. <laughs> oh my god. No ban list format truly is the most skillful of formats. I'm going to discard two Last Wills. I don't know why discard is in here. It's not very good. Painful choice. And I'm not going to think about it too hard because those are your options. Oh. 
Give yeah, me the pot yeah. of green. <laughs> Give me the pot of green. <laughs> Please play pot of green. I'm gonna discard a Ronin Toad into special summon a Swap Frog. I'm not gonna use the effect of the Swap Frog. Are you sure you I don't am use sure the I'm, I am sure Josh, I am not. Are you sure? I'm also gonna discard a Doom Frog to special summon a Swap Frog. Mm -hmm. And I'm also gonna discard a, a Substitute to special summon a Swap Frog. <laughs> I'm gonna proceed to make a totally awesome. I'm gonna banish a Poison Draw Frog sure. to special summon our Ronin Toad. I'm gonna link off the Ronin told him the Biru mm -hmm. to make a Sprite Elf. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that Sprite Elf to bring back a Max C. Oh, bro, is this where you bounce it back to hand? <laughs> I could. Uh, I'm gonna banish a Doofrog. <laughs> Stop laughing at it. Totem. Normal summon a Max C. Okay. I'm gonna make. A number two Ninja Shadow oh, Mosquito. Oh, what do you stop? <laughs> I told you I was gonna leave the token there. All right, I'd like to enter the battle phase. Sure, that is good, yes. All right, I will try to attack the token oh. with my number two Ninja Shadow Mosquito. Would you would I would you like, like to, to activate the effect. Now this is gonna put a counter on the token. Ninja Shadow Mosquito doesn't have only that effect where it puts a counter. It also does something cool it, with yeah, the counter. It does a thing where yeah, the counter uh, so, hurts. When an attack is declared, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna try to attack into the token with the totally awesome, which mm -hmm. token is much bigger. Uh, I think uh, I think that's okay. I think that's gonna go true somehow. And then Ninja Shadow Mosquito is gonna burn you for the attack of a monster with a hallucination counter on it, which that's, is uh, nine over thousand, nine thousand actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is very fair. I think uh, I think that's a very good demonstration of uh, why certain cards are on the ban list and why frogs are the best archetype in the game. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Either. Well, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. It was uh, I had a really good time doing it. Uh, I think we've proven a couple of things, such as Painful Choice can never come off of the banlist. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Uh, the Dragon Rollers can probably come off of the well, banlist. They'd probably be okay. I think they're all right. Ronin but... can also come back, though. But if you guys like that, please let us know by liking, commenting, subscribing, and telling us what you thought of the match in general, and uh, whether you would have played it differently, and uh, if you think that our matchups were fair. I think they were. I think Dragons versus Frogs is a very good matchup, but uh, yeah. apart from that, put the God damn hand on. Do I have to? You have to put oh, that on. God. Because uh, I'm crowning you King of Frogs. Oh, there's uh, there's more than just the hat. more than oh, just that. You are okay. now going to be King of Frogs. I'm so yes. sorry for humiliating you like this. <laughs> if you want to see us continue to humiliate Josh, we have a couple of other videos up on the channel with him on it. So uh, check them out. Until then, guys, like and subscribe, and we'll see you around. Bye. <laughs>